Oh, he does okay. get a t he does get a salary. Okay. Who does? They're saying Hikaru does get a salary from TSM. Oh. Some people are. Saying TSM, because they, they know. Because they know. All right. Well, he they they're saying he says it. Now, unfortunately, um, people complained about Karyakin not trying to win with White, but I actually understand. Karyakin said after, he said, I was totally out of energy the last match. And you guys don't know because you guys haven't played in a tournament that lasts a month where everybody you play is 2,700. But if you do, you're going to be tired at the end. I mean, I'm tired during, back me up. You're exhausted during tournaments. Yeah. Imagine if your tournament lasted a month, the world open, and everybody was 2,700. <laughs> It's real tiring. It's the worst thing that's ever Even happened if to anybody. You're a lower level like me, if you're, I play a five hour a game. A typical person tiring. doesn't think. They sit there and they go, duh, and then they type nonsense in the chat. If you're 2,700 or, or even Karen, you're thinking nonstop, and the things that you think don't happen. Karen's like, what if he goes here? Ah, oh, God. And then she's like, okay, that, that's okay. <laughs> you do that every day, every game, and your opponent's one of the best players in the world, you get tired. And so the players are obviously exhausted, but Duda didn't play like he was exhausted. But Oseyev did. Carlson and, and Duda played like they were fresh, like time to play chess. And kudos to Carlson. He lost to Duda, and he's playing for third, so he literally doesn't care, and he played like his best chess ever. Ridiculous. Hey, Catface. How's it going? Mm -hmm. Uh... If you make a hundred thousand a year, earning more money doesn't make you happier. Should I ban him? <laughs> um, no. But deserves to be banned. No. But that's the most wrong thing that's ever been written anywhere by anybody ever. I'm not sure exactly what they're meaning because it's kind of an arbitrary right. figure. I've never been so mad. <laughs> if you made that number like a billion, then you're right. But a hundred thousand? Are you kidding me? Yeah, nobody who makes less than a billion doesn't want to make more money. They all do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, mo money, mo money, mo money. Right. I easily spend more than 100K a year. A lot of people do. Yeah. America. Okay. The, the, don't, don't blink because this game's over. All right. Yeah. Okay, so they played all theory. Okay, this is your favorite opening. A queen's gambit accepted. And they played the Vienna variation. Okay. And after um, Bishop takes, Duda played the scary variation, which is favored by Georg Meyer. Knight takes e4. So white sacrifices a pawn, but black is playing like Fedoseev. You see what I'm saying? You know. Okay. And then you just, you just go back. You don't take the second pawn because, you know, you can't. Okay. And I've always thought... And obviously, I'm not anywhere near this level. I always thought, I'm not having black here. Black's losing two tempi to get a bad position because he's up a pawn. That's the way I feel about the position. However, my feelings don't matter, right? If I feel the vaccine is bad, it doesn't matter. The vaccine's either good or bad. It doesn't matter how I feel about it. I'm, I'm, I didn't make the vaccine... I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm a guy like screaming about chess and I'm not even good at that. So if I say, oh, the vaccine, you should take that or you shouldn't, that doesn't matter what I say. So it doesn't matter what I say about this position because Duda has done a million hours of prep with an engine and knows everything. And the engine says it's equal. So he literally doesn't care if people think that White has a good position here because he can play every move instantly and he knows the engine evaluation. And I don't, but if I didn't have an engine and my opponents didn't have an engine and we never saw this position, I'm taking white all day. I don't like black here. Okay, he checked and it wins a bishop, so Duda resigned. Can you believe that? Okay, knight c6. Yeah, I was looking at that already. Yeah. This is all This is all his prep. Yeah. Yeah. Now, are you ready for this move? Are you sitting down? Mm -hmm. Okay, this move you would never think of. And when I tell you, you're going to think like I'm making it up. Like he didn't play it. What, what, black? Yeah, black played a move here and you're going to be like, what? It's just prep, it's theory. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's actually the best move. It makes sense. You ready? Yeah. Here, that's what you would play, right? No. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, it's very easy to understand that move. Very easy. When white takes this, the bishop is hanging. Right? Yeah. Okay, so after here, the bishop is not hanging. See? Ooh. Okay. Yeah, and that's it. So now this doesn't win a piece. Now, also, there are positions, not this one, where like takes, takes, check, and you're attacking the rook and the king. This would save it, but, but and now, now you don't attack the rook and the king. If he ever does take this, which seems like white should do that, because then black's all messed up, then white's black rook is much better here than here. Boo. Okay, not just prep. It's not like he figured out the board. Okay, knight takes, pawn takes, rook d1, because this pawn was attacked. Bishop d7. Now, he could take this pawn, but that undoubles my pawns. It loses a tempo. The queen's moving every move. So he just defended his pawn. Yeah, and this is just prep. And then the game ended because it's a perpetual on the queen. Uh, so probably both players already knew all of this. And they just, it was a non-game. And you're like, why doesn't Karyakin try to win with white? And he's like, I'm tired. I, I want to go home, right? He's already made the candidates. Now, for the gawking rabble, the only thing that matters to them, the people watching the stream and watching on YouTube, is how much money they make. They're like, Karyakin makes 120000 if he wins the match. He only makes 80000 if he loses. And nothing matters more to the people than like $100,000. According to that guy, that's that whole, that's fine. The whole year is over, right? Mm -hmm. But that's not a lot of money for Karyakin. Karyakin wanted to get into the candidates. And Karyakin wanted to gain rating points. And Karyakin wanted to play 2700s and see how good he can play. 80000 aren't 20000 to matter to him. And when the tournament ended, he got Geary good. And they don't know this. So this is, this is gold. Gold, Jerry, gold. He, when Geary got knocked out of the World Cup, he tweeted, I'm taking my 0. .6 rating points and going home. He gained 0. .6 rating points. Mm. After this match, which Karyakin lost, he had a sense of humor. He tweeted, I'm taking my 1.2 rating points and going home. Just making fun of Geary. Because he also got 80 grand. Yeah. Yeah. But okay, he didn't even try that game. They just drew in like 20 minutes. Which is weird because, you know, the peop that's why people don't want to. Now, they can't agree to a draw, but they manufacture a draw. So, yeah. so, um, I mean, do you think they both knew that's what was going to happen? No. Oh. No. I'm sure Judah was happy because now... Yeah. Yesterday, here at the chess center, like at night, when this game had been over for like nine hours, some guy said, who's the favorite of this match? And I said, well, Duda's the favorite because he gets white next game. I said, Duda's playing better in the tournament than Karyakin, but he's white, so he's his favorite. 